This is my old pride and joy from back in the day. And I've been in Germany for the past three and a half years nearly, and this has not moved to, for about a year before that. So this hasn't had anything happening to it. I was going to do all sorts with it, put a big old V6 in it, maybe turbo it, blah, blah, blah. And it's just got to the point where it's just inconvenient, so I've decided that I will be passing it on. However, for that, I need to be rebuilding it to a stage where we can get it at least on a rolling shell. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to, ideally, by the end of this episode, um, we're going to have this less on stands and more on four wheels. However, who knows? We shall see. Let's crack on. Right, so one thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be derooting the loom because of the fact that he's going to be using a diesel engine that dude's buying this off me, Tom. Uh, he has no need or use for the VR6 loom which I rooted in. So, that is, uh, that is job number one, at least, of many. Really don't really want to do this because it's my least favourite job in the whole of mechanics. However, we will crack on and I'll start stripping down this absolute mess that is a loom. Everyone was wondering what the arteries and veins of the car's mind look like. That's it. I think the next thing for me to do is get around the underneath and try and start sorting out what I'm keeping, what I'm throwing away, and what I'm going to be putting back on so that I've got a bit more of a free workspace. mother has tried to help with the whole tidying of the garage thing. I can't find anything. I've got sort of 70% of the bits, of the, the fundamental bits that I need. Without the other 30% I can't do anything at all. <sighs> yeah. I'm just gonna push on, as if none of this is a problem. I'm going to start needing things like cigarettes pretty soon. Right, I think I'm just going to bite the bullet, try and line it up. Steering rack U bolts. One, two, three, four. Oh. Lovely. What I'm doing is just trying to get it onto four wheels rolling. It's not massively important that it is legit. A little bit high, a little
before we put the steering rack on. This is connected to the steering wheel. So that's going on now. It's the first time in a long time I can literally write the front is ready. The front is ready. Then so we are gonna do some of mostly the front bumper bolts now and then we shall possibly consider this a victory in a day. I uh, don't actually entirely know yet what I'm going to be doing. I'm just sort of uh, testing the walls a little bit. Uh, as far as I'm gonna go with it today. You know, everything's like slightly loose. There are certain bolts missing or whatever, but the main purpose of this was to get it from zero empty shell to back onto its four wheels, just so that it can roll. The main point is, if I wanna steer it, albeit no power steering, it steers. So, that is the most important thing with it, is that I'll be able to get it hooked up tow it on to a flatbed and uh, and then from there they can take it and, and, and do whatever they want with it. If I were to do more, that gives them more to do as well. He isn't going for the initial swap that I was going to do. I, this was originally a 1.4 and I was going to put a VR6 in it, which is sat over this side. Um, he's decided he wants to go with a diesel conversion, so there are plenty of things that he'll be changing up anyway. But yeah, that's the main thing, is that we've actually got it back on its wheels. Uh, the next episode's going to be nothing like this, because I'm currently in England, and then the next episode will be probably back in Germany. So I hope you enjoyed this one, something a little bit different. This is, this is how my life is when I'm not at work in, in Germany, when I'm back in the UK, playing with my cars in, in, uh, in the UK. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe. And I'll see you the next time.